Hi, I'm Chitra Nabat, and welcome to New York Financial Press TV. Today we have with us David Fitzgerald, Managing Director from Globelinks. David, thank you for talking to us today. It's a pleasure. David, so tell me, what is Globelinks all about? Well, it's quite a simple uh, provider of a uh, turnkey one-stop solution. Basically, we provide something that allows um, an analyst, a CFO, a CEO, um, an economist to simply walk across their office, or walk across their trading floor, stand in front of our system, put a microphone on, rather like the one I'm wearing, wear an earpiece, and that will allow them to go live to any television network globally. CNBC, Bloomberg, uh, etc. Well, in terms of the behind the scenes process, the, the production elements, how, how exactly does that work? Well, we keep it as simple as possible. It's a, a self-op system, so no technical support is required. Um, it, it's anyone can learn to use the system in about 10 minutes. Uh, that's not to say. Are you sure? 10 minutes? That's it's that easy? Even an economist can learn to use it in 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, the client is supported by us remotely because all of our cameras connect to uh, a master control room in central London. So we c can see and hear the user, make sure that they're happy. Uh, we're also in contact with the networks to make sure that they're happy as well. So the solution is completely um, managed and supported. Now, in terms of the, the reach, in terms of the number of corporate customers and broadcast partners, what is, what is the extent of that? We're in about uh, 80 sites now and continuing to grow, I'm glad to say. Um, it, it's, uh, you can't put an exact number on the number of broadcasters because uh, we're in use by all of the major broadcasters uh, every day, but we're configured in a way that any broadcaster worldwide can connect to us. So if a new broadcaster in Singapore, for example, decides they want to connect to the Globelinks network, they'll be able to do so. Um, our master control is a major uh, fiber hub. Uh, it's also a major satellite earth station. So uh, we're highly visible and uh, connected to all broadcasters globally. And in terms of your clients, the 80 uh, sites that you talked about, yeah. is that primarily in the United States and the UK or all over the world? Primarily the UK. Um, and mostly financial services, but we're breaking out into new sectors, particularly the business school and university sector, uh, because those organizations are full of experts, um, and broadcasters want experts to analyze, to comment on current news stories. So we're, we're pushing from the financial services center uh, very much into uh, those sort of areas. Academic. Yes, into the academic area. But also in other parts of the world, in terms of, do you have territory? Geographic? Territory, mostly the UK, uh, but we are now pushing into Europe. Um, we're established in Holland, uh, for example, in um, ING Asset Management in The Hague. Uh, we've just connected uh, INSEAD, which is Europe's um, leading MBA uh, graduate school. Uh, so this is our first foothold in, Fra foothold in France, and we intend to grow in continental Europe. Uh, globally, maybe in the future, but we're very cautious about um, uh, spreading to other areas until we know that we can provide the fully supported uh, product that we provide in the UK. Once we know we can uh, support and manage um, our clients in a given area, that's when we'll move into that, um, that area. And how, how do you actually gauge or measure that? Uh, it, it, it's, it's technological. Uh, it's a technological solution. Now, if we can provide the sort of um, circuit connection that we know will be reliable in that particular area, um, then we'll say, yes, that's an area we'll sell to, and that's an area that, uh, we, know, that we know we can support. Now, what prompted the Press Association to acquire Globelinks in 2011? And as a follow-on, mm. what are the, the benefit, some of the benefits and synergies from that? Well, Globelinks was a, a small uh, niche company. Uh, it was a startup 10 years ago. Uh, I'm glad to say it has grown during those 10 years. The Press Association is um, the UK equivalent of, I suppose, AP. It's, uh, it comes from um, its origins are the print media. But of course, we all know that print media is becoming online media. Newspapers are online entities. They're, um, they're media rich. They carry video. Um, so in, in, in many ways, it was a logical um, uh, acquisition for PA. Uh, their sector is moving into online media, is moving into video. 
we are a video news provider. So it was, it was um, uh, a logical sort of acquisition and a synergistic sort of acquisition. And when you talk about the company being around for 10 years, yes. what are some of the trends that you've seen evolve in the broadcast industry? I think, um, I think a move from, uh, again on the technological side, a move from um, dedicated point-to-point -point fiber and more of a movement uh, onto internet, um, internet um, uh, solutions to connect organizations. Uh, major cities are full of fiber. You list, lift any paving stone or sidewalk stone, as you'd say in America, and underneath there, is fiber, there are fiber optic circuits. Um, that's not true when you want to provide this uh, to the same extent when you want to provide this service in, in say, Cyprus or a location in the Caribbean. Um, we have to be more, um, uh, more inventive and look to solutions uh, over the internet, but reliable solutions over the internet that will allow you to send uh, full broadcast quality um, high definition TV. Uh, we have those solutions now, so this is, this is, this is fueling uh, uh, an expansion and uh, allowing us to, to go to uh, new areas. Well, how has that impacted your business model and has your business model changed over the years? Uh, our business model is changing. Um, in, 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 I've already spoken about the, the technological advances that, that will allow us to spread um, geographically and reach more remote locations. Um, but I think online media is the big change. Uh, ten years ago, we were servicing almost exclusively the uh, traditional television networks. Those networks themselves, as well as providing um, their service to the home via an antenna on the roof and via uh, older style cable, are now becoming online media. Newspapers are becoming online media. Um, there are many web portals that carry, um, that carry video, business video interviews. So um, our model is changing. We're becoming a supplier not just to broadcasters, but also to um, a growing um, variety of online media outlets as well. Now, in terms of your competitors, who are your competitors? We didn't invent the idea of putting uh, broadcast quality cameras into, uh, into companies. Um, I suppose we did take that idea and modify it by making sure that it was a fully managed chain, not just providing a hardware solution, but providing the sort of support that the client needs in a live television broadcasting environment, and providing the sort of reliability that the broadcaster needs um, as well to make sure that person is there at the right time, that the, the, the pictures and the sound will actually reach them. So um, that behind the scenes production control room components. Yes, that is correct. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. But you're saying though you didn't invent the idea, so in terms of your um, competitors. Yes, there are there are other other companies that uh, do this, but I think Globelinks um, is unique in that it's joined all of the elements into uh, a one-stop solution. Uh, we for example, provide an online booking system. So of course there has to be a polite telephone conversation between, uh, between a TV network and the supplier of the guest or the interviewee. But once that conversation has been had and the, um, the company agrees to allow their guest to appear on TV, then the whole system is online. Um, they go to our online booking system, they will see the guest listed, also profiled with his expertise, the, the areas that he's an expert in, be it um, the yen, the euro, gold. Um, so we, we, we have um, we've automated the process and um, um, made it managed. And in order to stay competitive, mm. what are your challenges in the, in the next 12 months? Um, probably mostly technological to make sure that we can um, exploit the internet uh, more fully because the, in the internet is everywhere and I think we've got to be able to provide um, internet and IP based um, uh, solutions that will allow us to reach our clients where, wherever they are. David, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you so much for being with us on New York Financial Press TV. Thank you very much. Thank Good you. To be here.